in June 10th, 2009, a thread in the something awful internet forums. The, the point of it was for photoshoppers to make a supernatural picture. Then, as many have probably known since this blew up around that time, this picture appeared on the thread along with the caption, We didn't want to kill them, we didn't want to kill them, but a persistent silence in our and outstretched arms horrifying them. Pretty creepy stuff. This was the birth of the Slenderman online, and it spread like a wildfire from then. One of these peaks was August 2012, three years after his initial birth on the internet. That day, a game the launch of the eight pages, a game where you have to collect eight notes before Slenderman killed you. I don't know exactly what the pages do, but I, cause I never played the game, but I can assume it ended the game. For the next two years, the hype around Slenderman would start to die down, but it would reach its all time peak in 2014 when a disaster would strike. Almost seven years ago today, in May of 2014, two girls, Morgan Geyser and Anissa Weir, the day of a sleepover lured their friend, Peyton Lunter, into the forest. They said that the slender men told them to murder her, and if they didn't, their families would be murdered by him. Peyton Lunter was stabbed 19 times by Morgan Geyser. From what I've understood, Anissa didn't stab Peyton, but they both went on the run while, when they went into the forest to try and find slender men. Luckily, Peyton didn't end up dying. A hospital showed up after her pleas from help. I'm pretty sure a truck found her on the edge of the forest. Peyton is alive to this day. And after she got up, of course, she told them what happened. And they both caught them. Whether Sunderman actually told them that, it, I don't think we'll ever really know. It, they, they're probably the only ones who know. But it later came out that at least Megan Geyser had early onset schizophrenia. That could be the factor to why she stabbed her 19 times. Do I think Slenderman's real? Probably not. Sure, there's been some footage, but I don't know. I don't buy it. There's something weird about it. Sure, I've like seen stuff from like Nightcrawlers and like I believe Nightcrawlers are real. Beast of Bray Road, no. Thunderbird, possibly. And stuff like that. I believe those, at least some of them. I buy some of them. But something about Slenderman feels artificial. I don't know. But I've heard theories that, like, when humans get scared of something, due to all the negative energy we create, we, well, they're created, so us humans create our worst enemies, which I wouldn't be surprised by, honestly, but I doubt it. But its effect on people like Megan Geyser is real, so from a certain point of view, I guess it's real, not a fi with a physical body, but um, as you could say, a voice in somebody's head. That's it for me today, and I'll see you guys next time.